This is Mexican candy, and I plan on eating 100,000 calories of it in 10 days. According to the internet, we spend an average of one hour and seven minutes eating each day. So if I consume 100,000 calories of Mexican candy, that'll free up so much time for other useful activities, like playing video games. But why Mexican candy? Could it be the perfect combination of sweet and spicy? Or maybe because it's sour and savory? What if I told you all of the above? But is it even possible? According to Google, the most amount of calories that a man ate in 24 hours is 50,000. I'm not that crazy, so I think eating 100,000 calories in 10 days is reasonable. But my haters say otherwise. Hello, Ramon. So your mom told me that you're planning on consuming 100,000 calories of Mexican candy. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it is, doctor, but I don't see an issue. Why? Eating 100,000 calories of anything could cause major damage to your body. My mom told you to call me and scare me, didn't she? Ramon, you don't understand. The average person should only consume around 2,000 calories in a day, not to mention all the sugar and sodium you would be consuming as well. What's the worst thing that could happen? Eating all that candy in such a short amount of time would result in death, a slow and painful death. Whatever, you don't know what you're talking about. Was I in over my head? Was it really that serious? Could I actually die? Maybe? This was just a bad idea. And I went again. What's wrong, Ramon? Ever since I've been here, you've been sad. Don't tell me it's what, that, what the doctor said. I mean, yeah, the doctor said I could die. A slow and painful death. And you believe a doctor? Kind of, not really. But anyway, my mom and the internet both said that I should not eat 100,000 calories. Ramon, ever since I've known you, you've proven everyone wrong. You turn your doubters into believers. Why is everything changing now? You, you really think that? I know so. And I'll help you. You know why? Because other people say you can't, but that doesn't mean that you can't. I believe in you. And that was it. The motivation and support I needed to fully commit to this challenge. I was gonna eat 100,000 calories of Mexican candy with Saul's help. But first, I had to train. The training regimen was simple. Eat Mexican candy, eat more Mexican candy, and eat even more and more Mexican candy. And that's exactly what I did. I ate as much candy as I could. All kinds of them. Mazapans, pulparindos, pelons, you name it. I was a man on a mission. Saul developed a variety of exercises that maximized my consumption stamina. What that means, I'm not sure, but I did them anyway no matter how unconventional. Three, two, one, come up! <laughs> I don't get how this is necessary. Just trust the process. <laughs> and trust the process I did. After each session, I would feel stronger and more confident. Not only was I focused, but Saul had his eyes on the prize as well. You're doing it, you're doing great, Ramon, you're doing great. Which one's the candy? Uh, this one. Yeah, you're better, you're faster, you're stronger. Each day, my Mexican candy consumption would increase. I felt great, until I didn't. <laughs> Oh my God, Ramon, are you okay? Bro, you're hot. On day six, I hit the wall. I couldn't get up and it felt like I got ran over by a semi truck. I needed some help. So I called the doctor to see what was going on. So tell me what you're feeling, Ramon. Ramon is feeling pain all around. His head won't stop aching and his stomach feels like it's gonna explode. Who are you? I'm Ramon's best friend and trainer. He can't talk because of all the pain. He's probably in pain because he's in a sugar coma. You guys need to stop immediately. The effects on his body are irreversible. What do you know? You probably got your degree on TikTok University. Listen, Ramon, listen. Don't listen to him, you listen to me. You're gonna make history, okay? You will make history, you will die a legend. The next day, I rested. I still managed to eat some Mexican candy. That is until I got some news that broke me. What do you mean you can't train me anymore? We only have a couple days left. Saul, I need you. Bro, my mom said I can't train you anymore. Your mom called my mom, now I can't leave the house. What am I supposed to do? You're my trainer. You can't do this to me. I'm sorry, this is really out of my control. 
my health was failing, my trainer abandoned me, and my family wanted nothing to do with me. I was alone, and my dream of eating 100,000 calories was slipping away. Was I about to give up on all that pain, suffering, and hard work? Or worse, was I about to give up on myself? The doctor doesn't know anything. A slow and painful death. Okay! I'm gonna finish what I started. All right, guys, we're at the end. Today's day 10. I'm ready, I'm focused, I have a goal, and today I will eat 100,000 calories of Mexican candy. I started off strong, eating 10,000 calories in the first 10 minutes, bringing me closer to my goal. I had momentum. The candies were going down like water. It was happening. I was actually doing it. That is until my heart started hurting like never before. My heart was giving up on me and I couldn't continue. Ah! Right when I thought that everything was over, a miracle happened. My best friend Saul showed up to support me. You got some unfinished business. Not only could I taste the delicious Mexican candy, but I could almost taste victory. But then, disaster happened. Ramon? Ramon! Ramon! So, I didn't reach my goal of 100,000 calories, but I did learn one thing. Listen to your doctor.